Okay, whenever everybody's ready, we'll go straight to questions for Jordy. Uh, Jordy, I know you uh, made it clear you wanted to come home and that was a big reason, but just like when did that start weighing on you and how did you ultimately come to the decision to come to Nebraska? Yeah, um, I've always been a big homebody, and so even my freshman year, I had pretty strong feelings of homesickness, but every freshman does, um, so I was just like, every freshman's going to be homesick, but then my second year, instead of those feelings going away, they continued to worsen, um, and so that's, I guess, when I started just knowing that my heart was always at home. Yeah, it was a week of a lot of highs and then also some low feelings just because it was hard to leave what has been so great the last two years as far as the, just the people and everything. But you come off of winning a national championship and um, going to Toby Keats and hanging out with him afterwards, which was pretty cool. But then you have to break it to your teammates and your coaches that you've decided to make the decision to come home. Um, and so that was kind of sad. But once I got home and have started to settle in, unpacking everything finally, um, it's just started to sink in that, you know, like this is real. I'm not going to have to leave home again, and I'm going to get to represent it. And so that's just been a feeling of just just happiness, relief, joy. I'm just very excited to be here. So a long week, but a good week. How did that reconnection with Coach Ravel go? Um, did it feel like you guys picked up where you left off? Yeah, I would say we did. Um, it was just kind of a feeling of, wow, this is so full circle. Um, so pretty cool open arms from staff and so that was just a really cool thing to walk into. The tattoo of the outline of the state, when did you get that and <laughs> how long have you been like looking at it, you know, in anticipation of this? Yeah, so I actually got the tattoo my freshman year at school. Like I said, I was still homesick even then. Um, but it was always important to me to represent Nebraska even being away. Um, I've always made it a point to be proud of being a Nebraskan. Um, and I think part of being away for two years was good because, if anything, just my love for this place and just the pride in representing it grew. Um, but yeah, I got it my freshman year. We were, it was during the spring season, and so we had two days going on during spring break, and I went in between our morning and afternoon practice and just got it. So yeah, kind of funny. Jordy, what was your reaction to what a lot of people are calling the ball effect, the spike and <laughs> request uh, I don't know the ball effect. That's kind of, I don't know. But it is very cool. I'm very excited for this program and this team and just this state. I think it's going to be kind of just a, an emotional moment taking the field and seeing Husker Nation show out for our softball team, but it's something that is very, very exciting. Having uh, played for a program that's obviously been really successful, what can you bring now to Nebraska, a team that hasn't made it to that point yet? I don't know. This team has a lot of strengths, and so I don't want to walk in and in any way feel like I'm overstepping anything. That's not what I want to do. I just want to come into this program and help in whatever way I can, and um, I just think our team is going to work hard all season to just leave it all out there, and then when you just leave it all out there, it's in the Lord's hands. Whatever happens, you're giving everything that you have, and that's all you can ask for, so it's going to be fun to see what happens. I grew up playing a lot with Brooke and Billy Andrews, and so they were actually one of the first people to call me when um, it all kind of went out that what was happening, and they were just excited, and it was very good to hear from them, and I, yeah, I grew up playing with them, so it was really cool. Um, just because I was the little girl playing on little club teams around Nebraska. And um, it was always super cool wearing Nebraska across your chest during the summer and then going out to play in tournaments in California and play teams from big softball states like that. 
um, and just no one, no one's really expecting anything from the team from Nebraska. It's like you're a true underdog, and so it was always cool getting to compete with the best of the best. And so that's just a really cool feeling. And also, like I said, home has always been super important to me. And so even when I went down to OU, it was hard because I never wanted to leave home. Like this place and these people mean so much to me. And so it would just be so cool to um, – just capitalize on what this team can do and um, have little girls dream of playing for this program. What, what have you experienced uh, over the last four or five days you know, since you made it known that you were going to play, play, continue your career here, uh, whether it's you know, in the community in Pavilion or in Lincoln? What, what kind of experiences have you had uh, interacting with people? One moment that I thought was really cool is that I went to the Papio softball camp because that's where I played high school. And it was shortly after the announcement had been made and little girls were coming up to me saying, oh my gosh, I'm going to get to watch you play. And so I think that is just super cool um, because, like I said, it's right in their backyard. And I was that little girl at one point. So that has just been a moment where like, it starts to sink in like, wow, this is really, really awesome. Yeah, um, obviously Coach Gasso is an amazing coach, and I learned a lot from her and just from playing with the girls on that team, just about the game in general, um, and a lot about just confidence and just believing that you can. And so I think just being around them for two years and learning from them as people and as coaches and players was um, it played, had a big effect in my maturity as a person and just in the game. Um, and so, like I said, I just want to be a confident presence, I guess. And like I said, not overstep anything, but just be here to help in any way I can. Jordy, outside of softball, just now being a part of a school that champions women, women's athletics so much with volleyball and, and, and everything else, but how meaningful is that to you to be representing Nebraska? It's really cool. Um, this university puts women up here. And so you see that especially with the volleyball. Um, the attendance for their game that they're going to have at Memorial Stadium is awesome. And right when that came out, um, I was at Oklahoma, and Coach Gasso then was like, how can we do this with softball? I think that this program just sets a standard that people want to follow for women's sports. And so it's going to be really cool to be a part of that here. <laughs> I was with my parents, and it was, I don't remember exactly what game it was, but I was still in high school. Um, and that's another cool thing is that I grew up coming to games here, especially with my dad. Every year we would do a daddy-daughter date night. <laughs> and so a couple times we made that night a game at Bolin. So um, again, that's just another example of full circle, and it's going to mean so much to be playing on that field. <laughs> like I said, um, the goal is to leave everything out there and see what happens. I'm a firm believer that the end is already written, and so with that, you just show up every day and give everything you have, and it's in the Lord's hands. Um, it would be so cool to see Nebraska in the College World Series um, and just make the run that I believe that this team can make. No, I don't look at it like that at all. Um, I'm not a person that loves the spotlight and in any way I can. It's deflected to the team. And so I don't really look at it like that way at all. And so also when you don't look at it like that, you don't feel that. And so, um, yeah. <laughs> Initially, you committed to Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a junior in high school, or sophomore or junior in high school. I was young. And um, at that point in my life, 
I wasn't aware of how much I needed balance until you leave home and you're seven hours away from everything that means so much more to you than the game itself. And then I realized I can't love the game itself if I don't have these other things in my life that I love so much. It's just everything gets out of whack. And then, um, like I said, I think a lot of maturity, a lot of growing up. Um, I'm thankful that I went down to Oklahoma because, like I said, I learned a lot, and I wouldn't really change anything. I believe it all happens for a reason. Um, and I had amazing opportunities down there and met some amazing people. But I think in those two years that I was down there, uh, my perspective on a lot of things changed just in maturing in my faith and maturing as a person, but also just maturing in the game all around. I would say my brothers, and I would say I'm more excited to be able to watch them play than I'm excited for them to be able to watch me play. Um, my entire life, they have just thrown all their support at me and been there for everything, and I'm just excited to be able to give them that same support. I'm excited to go watch my brother play football at Midland. Um, I'm excited to catch my brother's basketball games at Papio South during the winter, and I'm just excited to be able to catch up with my brother for lunch while he's teaching in Papillion. So they've always been my best friends, and I'm just, I think, very excited for all the opportunity I'll get to be more closely connected to them. Anything else for Jordy? Okay. Thank you, Jordy. Thank you. We'll have Coach Ravel up next.